Good evening, everyone. Before we start the session, I request all the participants to kindly rename yourself with your register number, underscore, then your name. Kindly rename yourself, participants. All right. The function of prayer is not to influence God, but rather to change the nature of one who prays. Let us now start the session with a silent prayer. Thank you. In the realm of data, the past informs but advanced analytics predicts are shaping the future with unparalleled precision, quoted by John Key. A very good evening to one and all present here. I am Bashini S. from First MCOM. I now request Dr. T.K. Murugeshan, faculty, Krista Jainti College, Autonomous, to welcome the gathering. Dear participants, good afternoon, one and all present over there virtually on behalf of the Department of Commerce PG and my personal behalf. I personally welcome each and every one of you from the bottom of my heart to the second day virtual faculty development program on business analytics concepts, building blocks, and applications. Amistas, we have one such resource person, Dr. Baba Nanakumar, Professor, School of Management, Director, Consultancy, and Corporate Training, District Yenti College. Talking about this, sir, so one thing I have observed about this, sir, so whenever any innovation is happening in the field of comments and management, if you approach Dr. Baba Nanakumar sir, then you will be getting lots and lots of details about any innovations emerging in the field of comments and management. So is like an encyclopedia in the field of comments and management. Uh, and Mr. So we have uh, one such uh, resource person, Bob Ananok Marcel. We are blessed to have you uh, for this uh, session. Uh, thank you very much, sir, for accepting our invitation to be the resource person. I think that uh, Sir is going to throw a light on data handling process. I think that uh, uh, I can assure you, dear participants, each and every concept Method are delivered by our uh, Dr. Baba Nanakumar, sir. It, it is not going to touch our mind, it is going to touch our heart. So, with that, I request Baba Nanakumar, sir, to, to take over this session. Thank you, Dr. Mugesh, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, the faculty members of Farmers PG and the students for nice introduction. And my session is about the uh, data handling. I am going to discuss only two parts. How to bring the quantitative data. Next, how to bring the qualitative data. Quantitative data, I am going to give the example from the finance side, since some of them are from finance. Qualitative data, I am going to give an example from the marketing side. Just before going to that, I will share the introductory part with you. Yes. So my topic is how we can easily bring the data. 
into the Excel. That is why the agenda has been fixed clearly like that, quantitative data and the qualitative data. So participants, if you are having Office 365, you can enable that one in Excel so that it is very easy. Because in Office 365 version of the Excel, we are having more number of functions. So we are going to see few examples from that one. I am not going to use any other big software. For the purpose of qualitative data, I'm going to tell about the Excel with add-on from the meaning cloud. So we are having sufficient time. So if participants, you have to go simultaneously, you can enable the meaning cloud in your Excel as an add-on. When I am giving a few examples, by the time you can add on the meaning cloud in your Excel sheet. If it is Office 365, it is very easy because quantitative data, I'm going to give the example from Office 365 because it is having more functions. And these are the two things we are going to use today since we are having one hour time limit. First half an hour, I will tell about the quantitative data, how we can use the stock market function directly into Excel. Then coming to the qualitative data, you can have the meaning cloud. Meaning cloud, it is not having any break in between meaning and cloud. So when you are creating an add-on, use correctly. It is registered for first 100 data. Even I have used that one. I don't know how many data I have used as a sample. So try to create an add-on with your Excel. It is available in the insert, and you can use that one. Before that, I will give some introduction about the quantitative and qualitative data. Quantitative data, we can't change. Whatever available, we have to utilize. Normal example in case of financial data. Mostly financial data are depending upon the quantitative method. We can't change the data or we have no need for filtration. We have to use as it is. Very good example, how we can get the data from the different stock exchange. We will see one example from the Bombay Stock Exchange common website, how we can gather the data from BSC, different share price. Immediately, how we can go for beta calculation. There is no need for calculation anything. Automatically, in Office 365, we can get the beta. Of course, same thing. There is no need for using any other new software. We can simply click the forecasting tool in Excel and calculate the forecasting. This is the simple example. Because nowadays we can't depend upon one share price. We have to analyze number of share price and whichever is coming to our research purpose, we will use. That is why now in case of Office 365, Excel has been simplified. You can have a trial and error version of different number of shares. Not only share price, even you can go for the bunch shares, whatever the prices. You can easily get analysis in case of the quantitative area. So that is the first area we are going to discuss. So I hope if you are having nice network connection, it is good enough to use that one. So we need Office 365 as well as the Excel. Coming to the qualitative data that you know, especially in case of marketing. Even in finance, we can use the qualitative data. Even HR, we can use the qualitative data. The problem with the qualitative data is the data contains number of items. We have to filter it, that is important. 
we can't use as it is. If you ask questions to the particular person, his answer may vary. Say, for example, do you know about the circular economy? The respondent may say yes only. Even may you know he may not know about what is the circular economy. So how to find out all those things? That is why nowadays most of the companies they are depending upon the qualitative data from the reviews. If you take the Amazon example, from the Amazon reviews we can use number of things. Because in marketing, if you wish to gather data and analyze data, it takes minimum one month time. But in marketing, every day is important. Even we can say every hour is important in most of the case. So what these people are using, especially in case of analytics, they are using the reviews, the reviews of the Amazon product reviews reviews from the flip card, whatever it may be. Reviews are the good source because once they purchased only, they can give the reviews. They can't give review without any purchase. So these are all the verified data, but there are some negative responses or they may not use the exact one. So how to filter that one? That comes under the qualitative data analysis. So we have to bring the qualitative data. Analysis is different. How to gather the qualitative data? We have to gather data. Say, for example, today we are going to discuss the Amazon reviews. How to gather data from the Amazon? How to reduce that one? How to display that one? What type of conclusion we have to gather and send for further analysis? We are discussing about the data, not about information. So in qualitative data, there are some important things are very essential. Nowadays, we can use the Python also. Here I have given a sample coding for downloading the reviews from the Amazon. In some of the organization, if they are having Amazon Web Service link with the help of the Python and beautiful soup, they can easily download the reviews, of course. Now we are having the tools to download, but at present we are going to get the sample data only from the Amazon. So usually in case of almost all the marketing organization, what they are doing, they have to take within one hour decision. How to take a decision within one hour about the marketing data? Immediately they will download using the Python, from the reviews, and once they gather the data, within one minute or two minutes, they have to process and take decision. Time is very important in nowadays marketing, not only in finance. Time value of money you used to consider only in finance, but now in marketing also you have to study the time value of money. That is why this is sample example, of course, today we are not discussing using the Python, for your understanding, I have shown that one. How to filter the qualitative data? That is interesting thing. Usually when the customers are giving reviews or in case of investment decision, some third person may give the review whether we can invest or not. In case of human sources, HR, they may also give about the suggestion about the management. So how to classify that one? Usually, in case of data gathering, we are having two types of statement. One is called subjective statement. Another one is called objective statements. Subjective statements, it comes with the user experience. Say, for example, I have given here, I love Google Pay. That means he is accepting the Google Pay. These are all the opinion expressed by the people. In HR, the opinion given by the worker, it is the subjective statement. Objective statement, it is entirely different. Google Pay is the most popular UPA app in India. 
that is the objective statement but if we based upon some statements they will conclude the objective statement maybe they have done the research but for us we need only subjective statements if any response is an objective statement we have to remove the objective statement that is quite important when you are gathering the qualitative data understand but when there is an amazon review or flipkart review we will get the subjective statement we will get the objective statement but once if you get objective statement means it should be filtered out you have to understand the qualitative data filtration process because it is based upon some other evidence we need opinion of the customer that is why objective statement should be removed another one any statement is considering as two important thing iranic statement and non iranic statement iranic statement is used by usually well educated people using idioms and phrases whether they are saying the exact one or not in english we can't measure say for example i have given water water everywhere but no water to drink it is very difficult to analyze because they are saying water water everywhere but there is no water to drink that means drinking water is not available we can't take a final conclusion whether they are referring this one or some other thing that is why such statement are called iranic statements when you are gathering the qualitative data we have to filter out the iranic statements non iranic statements okay we can have as an opinion like subjective matter that is the aim of the data handling so simply speaking in case of qualitative data analysis we have to filter down two things one we have to filter down the objective statement another one we have to filter down the non iranic statements oh, sorry iranic statements because in these things we can't make any conclusion so that is the purpose of qualitative thing likewise when you are classifying the text in qualitative method there are some standards we are following especially when you are getting the reviews from the different sources we are having a two standards one is called international press telecommunication council standard it is called as iptc standard they are, if you wish to classify they created some standards for classifying the text under which classification it comes usually it is coming under the regular conversation most of the cases they used to find out what type of communication they are using on which subject matter they are speaking because in research some of them will expect we need social media we need exact data about the scientific area because if you want to do any research it may be a scientific research especially in pure science or it may be on social science so we must know what is the subjective area that is why in iptc standard we can use for classifying likewise when you wish to categorize the text there is one standards available international advertising bureau it is having 1.0 2.0 all those thing this advertising bureau created for the purpose of classifying the text because they clearly know what type of text we should not use in advertising what this advertisement is about for that purpose there are some standards so we have to adhere these type of standards when you are handling the qualitative data that we will see the example 
when we are studying the middle term, okay? Another one is called sense ID. In qualitative data, we have to find out the sense ID. It is identified for the purpose of double meaning. Even simple thing, you have the word bank. In some cases, river bank. River bank means side of the river. Another case, bank is used as the financial institution. These are all the problems when you are going for qualitative analysis. When to use the bank. So here we are having the sense ID. If a person mentioned payment and bank, it means the sense ID will say that the bank is used in the methodology of financial institutions. Another thing somebody used in the banks of River Kaveri, then it will sense that it is used in case of natural flow. You have to know that one. So in qualitative data only, you must know some basic things. What is the meaning of sense ID? Because there are dual meaning, number of especially table is having different meaning in normal English. So in which sense it is used? Likewise, classifying the test, IPTC or IAB standards, whether it is Iranic statement and non-Iranic statement, then whether it is subjective or objective. So these are all the basic things we must know before entering into the topic. Okay. Now we will move on to the practical one. The first part we will see how to do the quantitative analysis. I am going to share this full screen now. Wait, wait. Yes. Now I open the Excel. Purgation, sir, are you able to see the Excel sheet? Hmm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, okay. So I am using, as already mentioned, the Office 365 version, okay? The Excel sheet, which is in the Office 365 version, that is sheet one. So first I wish to go, we'll, or we wish to see the example from the quantitative one. We will consider the finance data for this purpose. What type of analysis we can do for the quantitative things. So let us see some of the examples here. First, we'll consider how to gather data about the financial data. Say for example, a student is going to gather the data about the share market. Example, Tata Motors, he used to get Reliance Industries, Likewise, he wished to gather the data for this purpose. How he can gather the data directly in the Excel sheet. So what we can do is, you can see the in Office 365, you can see the bar, file, home, insert, page layout, formulas, then data. So we used to gather the data, click the data. So I click the data. So now you can see the screen, it is entirely different. The number of things will be applicable. There is one interesting thing, stocks are here, then currency. If you click here, even geographical things are there. So if you want to gather the stock market data, it is now very easy. Say, for example, I wish to gather the data about the Tata groups, Tata motor. So what I am doing, I'm simply typing Tata motors, okay? So I type the type of motors in A1 cell. I'm going to stock. I am using the function convert to stock. 
Okay, I'm clicking the start now. Once I click the start, you can see in the right hand side, the data selector is coming. So if you gone through the data selector in the right hand side down, it is showing Tata Motors Limited is that in Bombay Stock Exchange with 500570 Tata Motors Limited in National Stock Exchange. All these are all there. Different code numbers are there. So which Tata Motors we are going to select? I wish to know from the Bombay Stock Exchange. So you can see in the right hand side, we can go for select. So once selected, you can see it automatically give the information. That is the, in A1 cell, Tata Motors Limited, Bombay Stock Exchange, that is X refers for the Bombay Stock Exchange. The script code is 500570. Here, there is insert data is there. So once if you click the insert data, it will show what type of data you want. Okay. So I need the price of the Tata Motors in the next column. So price. Okay. Now the price has been displayed. At present, that is 15 minutes back, the price of the Tata Motors is stock exchange is 646. Once again, I am going to insert data and click the insert data. Now I am seeing what are all things available. You can see, I wish to find out the price earning ratio. The price PE, price earning ratio. Now. In the next column, the price earning ratio has been displayed, 15.92. Then I need the beta value, because we, what is the risk rate? You can go for any n number of items. So I'm clicking the beta. So the beta value in of Tata Motors Limited in Bombay Stock Exchange is 1.75. That is comparing with the census. So very easiest thing. So the price, price earning ratio, and the beta value, it has been displayed. Same thing, if you want to gather any other data, you can do, I am using Reliance. It will find out Reliance Industries. Once I type the Reliance Industries, I am going to stock. You can see if you press the stock, it depends upon the network connection. Yes. It try to identify what is the stock of the Reliance Industries or Reliance. So now the updation may be going on. That is the problem. So this is the easiest way of gathering the financial data. Yes. Likewise, we are having the currency data also. If you can click the currency data and easily find out what type of currency we need, what is the present value, what is the equivalent value at present. This is an interesting thing available in case of Excel, I think uh, due to less internet capacity, it is rounding. Otherwise, you can easily find out in case of Tata Motors, we easily identified that one. You can use the same method for gathering the data. Yes, uh, server problem with those. It will come usually. Yes, now it displayed. Reliance Industries in Bombay Stock Exchange. The code number is 500325. It displayed. You can insert the data. You are going to mention the price. 
So the price of Reliance Industries, 2,319 at present. Then the price earning ratio is 23.6. Then once again, I'm clicking insert data. The beta value, 1.03. So easiest one, you can find out even say first SBI, State Bank of India. Yes, now it shows the State Bank of, once you enter, it will show automatically State Bank of India price. Yes. Number of things are there, you can select whatever data we can collect. I am specifically about only three data for the time being. The beta value, okay? So easiest way of gathering the data. You need not go for anything, ICICA. No result found for ICICA bank, we can change. And start searching, yes. ICIC Bank in, you can see in the Titan side, ICIC Bank Limited. Yes, it's selected. So easiest way of gathering. Then I am going to gather the price. What is the price of ICIC Bank? Then what is the price earning ratio? Then I need the beta. So easiest one, you can change the heading. The, if you want, you can insert that one, that is scripts. Price, price earning, PE, beta. Okay. Now you can go for analysis if you, Check everything. You can select all those things, go to home. Automatic analysis is also there. Excel will give you nice analysis. If you click the analysis, now you can see here they, it is preparing the chart. What is the chart? All those things. Even you can ask the question, you can compare anything. The price PE beta scripts chart is there. You can insert and find out clearly what is the price of all those things. You can compare price B beta, all those things. So this is the analysis option. Automatic analysis option is there. You can insert anything and you can easily find out how it is working. Price earning ratio. What is the price earning ratio of these companies? Baba sir, just you can refresh and I hope you're Yes sir, yes sir. It is being shared, sir. It is being shared. Sir, you are not audible. Baba sir. Baba sir, you are not. Is audible? Uh, no, no audible. Sorry. No audible. Okay. 
You can see in the right hand side, I mentioned the command compare PE and beta. Simple command in Excel. So it created a nice chart. It compared the beta and the price earning ratio of these companies. So beta, then PE. So it depends upon you. This is the easiest way of gathering the quantitative data. So in case of quantitative data, better use this type of option in Excel. Use the finance function, which is available in the data. Likewise, you can also gather data from the Bombay Stock Exchange. Say for example, I am showing another example. Since it is opened, yes. Are you able to see the screen of Bombay Stock Exchange? Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Simple thing, you can see the Bombay Stock Exchange or any other data. Some cases, they will give only table. You can't download anything. If you are unable to download anything, you need not worry about anything. There is no option available in Excel for converting the table into Excel sheet also. Say for example, I need this table, index, current, um, point change, percentage change. I need this table. Or if it is in the form of PDF, some of the annual reports, it may be in PDF. They won't give in the form of Excel. You need not worry about that one. What you can do, you can click the print screen option. Now it will come like that. And you can you copy that one. In the print screen option, you can select which table you need. I have selected. Then come to the Excel. In Excel, you can use that one. In data, go to the data. If you click in the left top, this one, you can see picture from clipboard. If you click that one, it will take the data from the picture. You can see this is the picture what we taken from the Bombay Stock Exchange. Assume that we can't download that data, but we need the data for analysis. So anyhow, some may, it will convert the image to Excel file. Yes, now you can see automatically, if you select yes, it will prepare the table. So this is an another easiest method. This method, not only you can use from the net, but also from the annual report. From the annual report, you can easily download, even if it is in the form of image, because some of the stock exchange, they won't permit for the downloading. If they are not permitting for downloading, you can use this data. Another example, if can, you want to gather the data share price, you can see the get quote. Say for example, ONGC. I'm selecting oil and natural gas corporation data. So it comes like that. So I need monthly data of ONGC from January. So this is the website of the ONG, not website of ONGC, Bombay Stock Exchange. You can go to the archives. Okay. Yes, now you can see this table will come. If you need monthly data, click the monthly data. I need data from January 2023 to present. If you click submit data, you can see this table. You can also directly enable web and ask the Excel to copy, otherwise, you can download this one under the CSV file. If you click that one, you can see the download. The file has been downloaded. Once you can go to the Excel, can go to the top, left top, 
from text CSV file. You can click that one. Yes, downloads, that is one CSV file is there. If you click, it will import. Yes, it will connect automatically the CSV files and it will show like this. So from this, you can transform the data. Whatever the things you need, whatever things you don't need, you can click the transform data. You can see in the down, transform data. If you click the transform data, another column will appear. Yes. Now you can select what columns you need. You can go here. Yes. All these options are there, copy entire column, choose column is there. If you need, you can choose columns. If you click that one, it will ask what data you need. I need the data of month, closing price. That's on, if you want number of shares. You can click any other thing, but I am using for our example. You can select any data, whatever you need. So now the closing price and number of shares are available. Even you can remove columns, keep rows, whatever you can do in this one. This is the Power Query Editor available in Excel. Once you did, you can go there, left, top, close, and load. Okay. Once you give these close and load, yes, now it has been loaded. You can see it is loaded in the Excel. So automatically it is loaded. If you want to forecast some data, you can select that one and you can go to data. You can click the forecast sheet. You can see the forecast sheet is available. It is forecasting up to 1-7-2004. You can select on up to which date you can forecast. It depends upon you. Once you click the create, it will nicely create the chart and it will show what is the maximum level. You can see this is the maximum line, upper confidence level of the estimation. Down is the lower confidence level. This is the idiom level. It will create the forecast sheet nicely. So now in Excel, the forecasting is very easy. All are linked directly with the intelligence system using the Microsoft Power BI. So all these financial data, we can do it very easy. Forecasting is very easy. Getting download is easy. Even if you know the data here, the from website also, you can give the website, you can easily download the data. If you click that one, from website, you can easily, if you give the URL, you can download the data. So that is relating to the quantitative data. So in case of quantitative data analysis, of course, this is not exactly analysis, how to handle the data. We have seen the example of the things. First thing, we have seen the example of the how to gather the data of different shares and securities. Usually our students will do in beta. They will calculate the beta, but there is no need for calculating the beta by the students. Everything is available in Excel. Only thing, they have to use the stock, which one they have to select. Once they did, they can go for analysis. Here I have prepared the chart about the beta and price earning ratio, whatever it may be. You can use the analysis and calculate. Likewise, you can gather the data directly from the image files also. Image to Excel. Most of the companies, they won't give in Excel sheet. When our students are going for project work, they won't give. They will tell it is available in PDF file or it is in book. So what we can do, we can ask the students to scan 
and use this method for the purpose of converting into Excel. Here, nice thing they have done. Another thing, in case of the share market prediction, here we have downloaded the monthly share price movement, closing a number of shares directly from the BSC. I have downloaded in CSV files, then automatically CSV files are converted. Even without downloading, you can give the web link also. That is also possible. But when you are giving web link, you should be very careful because it won't go to the unwanted space. It takes more time. That is why I limited down to this area. Once you gather the monthly price, everything, even you can go for the forecasting. And forecasting is done here nicely. So forecasting data, it will also give the upper boundary limit, lower boundary limit, it will give in the form of table, as well as it will give in the form of chart. So forecasting prediction is very easy in this type of analytics. Okay, that is all relating to the quantitative analysis. Let us move on to the qualitative method. I hope you understand the quantitative method. If any, any doubt, you can ask later on. Yes, Murgation, sir. Uh, any yes. doubt? Quantitative. It is fine, sir. Sir, it is, uh, when, we, uh, when we are using panel data, we can use sir, panel data for this. Yes, it is possible. But we need an add on future in Excel for using the panel data. Oh, okay, sir. Okay, sir. Please go on, sir. Please go on. Uh, we can have any type of add-on. Now, everything is there. Simply speaking, it is the, the Microsoft uh, Azure Power as well as the Power BI. All are linked now. Hmm. Okay, okay. Now I am closing this section. Yes. Going to don't say. Okay. Likewise, in qualitative data, we can go for a data gathering from the Amazon also reviews. Say for example, I'm going to the Amazon, Amazon India. Let us see some of the examples from the, directly from Amazon Web Service. Let us see the iPhone 13, okay? So this is the Amazon link of the, if you want to gather directly from these sources, you can directly give in the Excel logs. Because usually in case of Amazon Web Services, they may have this type of link from, but here the price is not given. You can easily get this table in Excel. Same table for comparison. Amazon Web Service used to give more comparison. In marketing, comparison of different products are needed. So it is very easy to have the comparison directly from the Amazon. This is the Amazon. However, the Amazon used to give nice comparison tables. You can see here, yes, iPhone, different varieties, but table is coming from here only, ratings, all those things. So how to get this data from Amazon? Simple thing. Either you can use the Python, Python means you can get the reviews directly, or here you can get the final ratings. If you click this link, that is the Amazon link about this product, you can copy that one, go to Excel, yes. I'm opening a separate Excel sheet. If you go to data, here. That is web, how to gather the data from the web. From the web, you can enter the URL. Enter the URL here, okay. However, it depends upon the 
link it is connecting with the amazon it depends upon the aws amazon web service yes now it connected the amazon it shows different tables however i have not selected the table you can see i will a document we don't need first table this is about the apple brand name is only there no comparison second table yes you can see this second table it is having the comparison of different product amazon iphone 14 pro all those things table three it contains only one column about the only one phone. This is also a single one. Table five, it is the ratings. Five star, how many person gave, all those things. You can select any one according to your wish. Table six, only the thing. So you, if you want to compare the different products, you can select the table two. If you want to know the Amazon ratings about the iPhone, you can select this one. It depends upon you. Once you selected, you can go for transform the data. Same thing like previous one. It will now transform the data. Yes. Yes, now it has transformed the data about the iPhone 14 Pro, then 14 Pro Max. If you want to do anything, you can adjust here. Use first row as header, because in first row it shows column one, two, three, but we need uh, iPhone Pro, yes. Now you can see iPhone Pro, iPhone Pro Max, it calculated. So it depends upon you. Once you selected, you can manage this table. What type of things you need, close and load. Yes. Now it is doing the connection. It is getting the data. Yes. Now you can see it clearly prepared the chart. It, is, it made a nice comparison also. iPhone 14, iPhone 14 Pro Max. Even you can go for transpose of this table. It depends upon it because if you want to go for any analysis, we need the transpose only some cases, especially in case of marketing data, we need transpose also. You can go for copying and transposing that one. It depends upon you. Yes. So it depends upon how you can Analyze that one. Transpose means it will calculate indirectly. The row, rows and columns will be shifted. Okay. Yes. The link is okay. And you have just for example, I'm showing. You can go for it clicks only all, but you can do transpose and make the analysis of data. Here also you can go for analysis of data based upon your views. You can give the queries here and you can process the data. This is the reviews or comparison of product in marketing. Even in case of HR, you can compare one company with another company. In From the LinkedIn database, you can connect the who are all the workers working in one company who are all the workers in another company, you can ask the LinkedIn page to prepare the table and ask the Excel to connect for HR people. That is also possible now directly in Excel. Okay, This is the one type of qualitative information for marketing and HR. Let us move on to the meaning cloud type. Okay, Either you can get the reviews directly. I'm having one review sample. Yes. 
how to analyze the qualitative data. Yes. This is the reviews I have taken from the Amazon about the different product. Everything is in one column, but this A, B, D, C, yeah. First review, second review, all this. If you use the Python, you can download only the reviews. But for before that, you need the Amazon Web Service permission if you want to gather data from Amazon. AWS permission is needed. Now they are charging some money and they are giving, of course, some of the organizations, they are giving freely. Otherwise, you can nicely use the Python to download quickly from the Amazon reviews. Some of the product reviews are available freely. You can download. Once you download the data, you can put here. Here as a sample, I have downloaded around 28 reviews about the product. And you can go up to even 100 or even 1,000. But since we are using Meaning Cloud, it is restricted. I don't know how many data I am having balance. So once you download it, you can keep it in the Excel form. These are all the reviews. You can select the reviews. We have to find out whether it is subjective or not. So once you selected these reviews, go to Meaning Cloud. I already told if you have enabled Meaning Cloud in your Excel sheet as an add-on, it will appear here as the Meaning Cloud. There is no end space. So you can click the Meaning Cloud. Once you click, it will come like this. Okay. That is the option available from the meaning cloud. First, we can check whether it is subjective or not. You can go to the analyze the sentiments, click the analyze. Yes. In the right hand side, it will show. I have already then two or three, I don't know whether I'm having sufficient free data available. Anyhow, we'll check. Here it will show the sentiment analysis. If you are not having license key, you have to enable the license key. You have to register in Meaning Cloud with your email ID. Once you registered, you will get the license key you can use for analyzing 100 data, not more than that one. Okay, once you can use that one, you can go for analyze. Okay, luckily I am having sufficient thing. Once you click that one, you can see sentiments. It is showing clearly. Subjective, first agreement, whether it is agreement, polarity means negative, positive, neutral. N-E-U refers to the neutral. Some statements are neutral, some statements are positive, something none, none means you can remove that one. Next, for our purpose, very important thing is whether the data is subjective or objective. Likewise, Iranic or non-Iranic. You can see most of the data are subjective. But there are some data are objective. One, two, three. That is, don't waste time. One review is mentioning, don't waste the time. Of course, it classified as negative, but the sentiment analyst classified as an objective one. If it classified as an objective, we can't use this data. So what you can do, all this objective data, we can remove. That is 14, 15, 16. We should not use this data for further analysis. So what we can do, we can delete the data. Likewise here, whether it is Iranic or not, Iranic means we have to delete. Of course, all are non-Iranic. So even though we are having around 
28 statements. When it comes to the analysis, it becomes 25. That is up to 25 only. One is in the heading. We removed adjective type. And if any statement is Iranic, that also you have to filter out. Then only our data is qualitative one. That is the first part. So understand the sentiments. When you are gathering the reviews, how to filter the reviews? The filtration should be done based upon the subjective or objective. The objective one should be removed because they already done something, they proved with that one. It is not the opinion of that person. Likewise, if the data is erratic, I already shown water, water, water is everywhere, but there is no water to drink. It is an erratic statement. So what you have to do, you have to remove that erratic statement. Okay, of course, here. So we have to consider only this data for the purpose of analysis. Likewise, you can also find out in the text clearly the main thing. You can classify the text, you can cluster the text, you can categorize the text also. Let us work out the clustering. Whether it is working, clustering test also it can work. You can see the type of modeling. Yes, it is there. It will cluster the test according to the size and rank. It, for our purpose, rank one is needed. But you can see in a particular statement, there are a number of cluster. One is one cluster. Two is the another cluster, that is the ranking. Based upon that, what are all things we needed? First statement about the Samsung Galaxy, there are a number of clusters. So best thing, you can also identify. The cluster is here. But we need, if you are analyzing about the Samsung Galaxy F23 5G, this only considered. Statement one can be considered because you are doing research in Galaxy F23 5G. Or if you are doing Galaxy, you can say this statement you can consider. And here, Galaxy A53 is there. Here, Galaxy S23 is there. Here, Galaxy A53, Galaxy is there. The name where the Galaxy is coming, you can use. Provided if you are doing research in Galaxy. Remaining statement you can remove. That is one method of filtering. Likewise, you can also categorize the text. I'm clicking the categorizing the text. Yes, the, here the model I told, IAB model. Indian Advertising Brew model is there. You can click the analysis of IAB. Yes. It will give the label. This label is from the India, sorry, International Advertising Group. If your research is based upon business and finance industries, this statement we can consider. It classifies like that, technology and computing. So it classifies according to the labels. Some of the things there is no categories found. So it depends upon the research. In which area you are doing the research, you can classify. And remaining statement, you can remove clearly. That is how we can do. Likewise, last one, classifying the text. Here, the model for classifying text, if you click, IPT is there, social media is there. IPTC we have discussed, that is the telecommunication standards or social media. If you are doing the research in social media, you can click the social media, ask to analyze. Okay, I think, yes. Social media. It has given the label as well as the relevance, whether it belongs to science, technology, 
art and culture depends upon your research you can change and you can filter the same statement comes in different places here all these things are classified economy and finance social issue they mention about the social issue here they mention most of the things science and technology because they are telling about the futures of the samsung phones if your research is based upon the samsung product features you can use this one otherwise you can go for the social issue how the society is accepting the samsung phone you can see a example social issue is there here the statement is i am really happy with this phone it is per perfect for my needs i use it for everything from work to social media to gaming so he is using the mobile phone even for the social media so the preference you can identify from the classifying the test so these are all the different methods of gathering data and filtering the data qualitatively here we have used the example from the meaning cloud also you can directly gather from the website what we have seen in case of amazon reviews and table we can gather and once you gather the reviews you have to find out whether it is subjectively there whether there is any objectivity is there whether it is ironic and non ironic in case of analysis whatever the subjective data we can include because it reflects the opinion of the customers likewise it should be non ironic ironic means the customer is using different methods to give the answer they are using some idioms and phrases even negative statement they used to give in the positive method so that is the quite interesting thing likewise you can also filter based upon the clusterization categorization even classifying the text based upon the your research which area you need research you can classify based upon that one so in this discussion of course we have taken more than the estimated time another 6 minutes we have taken so you have to understand what is the quantitative data how to gather then qualitative data how to gather and filter and how to use usage and analysis next part once you gather the data you can filter based upon this one after that you can use for any other purpose okay any doubts you can ask if i know i will tell that was really an amazing session sir thank you for giving us your valuable outputs on data handling process for the theoretical and practical knowledge thank you very much sir dear participants now the floor is open for q and a so if you have any questions kindly post it in the chat box thank you sir uh, participants the feedback link will be shared in the chat box kindly ensure that you fill the same gratitude is the closest thing to beauty manifested in an emotion i now take this opportunity to extend our gratitude to the resource person dr baba gyanakumar faculty school of management krishna jayanti college 
for sharing his valuable insights on data handling process. Thank you, sir. A bouquet of thanks to Dr. Madhu Thruvakumar Ma, Head Department of Commerce PG, for her constant motivation to scale greater heights. Thank you, ma'am. I would like to thank Dr. Cherian Thomas, sir, FDP coordinator for the support. Thank you, sir. I would also like to thank all the participants for being such an amazing audience. Thank you, participants. It's my duty to thank our department faculty members, Dr. T.K. Murugeshan, Dr. Pushpa A., Dr. Vidya S., and Dr. Mohan Kumar. Their assistance for the conduct of this event is appreciable. Thank you, dear teachers. My deep sense of gratitude to the students of first and third sem MCOM and MCOM FA for being part of this program. I also convey my gratitude to the non-teaching staff, especially the tech team, for the efficient online support throughout this session. Thank you, tech team. Dear participants, tomorrow's session will start at 12 noon and participants can use the same Zoom link to join. Thank you. I remain. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, Baba Nanakumar, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Very useful and fruitful. And mm -hmm. you it, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much for sharing your knowledge and skills around this. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. 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 Th